Hello, my air signs. How are you doing today? Guys, I'm here to do just a collective read on all of you guys. I'll do a general, and then I will get into uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Guys, um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Guys, I am starting a new way to read, and I love it. Um, I got some stones, a few of these stones for Christmas that have some words on it, and um, on there, I have been connected with each stone. I got about 50 of them now, and I pick up the energies from it, so I'm gonna start doing stone reads. Today, we're gonna start with that, then we'll go to tarot, but eventually, I will be doing full on once I can connect with all 50 of them, and I am telling you, I pick them up and I feel something different with each person that I've used it on. So um, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same ones today. So whatever goes you're lacking or we need to work on, if it's down, if it's up, that's going in your favor and you have that in your life right now, okay? So let's do it. This is for Gemini, Libras, and uh, Aquarius. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't on what your shit is, okay? We all got it. None of us is perfect. Okay, so let's see. First, air signs. All right, you accept, you you have happiness. Gosh, guys, you guys got a lot going for you, your acceptance. I did this with, uh, I'm gonna do this way because I gotta remove this. I tried to do this with the cloth on my water reed and it didn't work well. You have accepted something and you got, you had the courage to forgive this person that brought, you know, um, healing and believing in happiness again and wealth, okay? What we need to work on here is love. You, you're healing though and protection. Maybe you feel you weren't protected in love before or you want to protect a love right now. You want to protect a love as much as somebody wants to protect it as well. What you're needing to protect it from, I don't know. Maybe there's nothing yet, but maybe you'll feel it. But you want the protection. You want to know you can feel safe in love again. And guys, I got, I had to, you know, I had to go through that. I had to feel that I would get into a, a relationship that was protected and that was safe without feeling like I can't trust the person not to be loyal or, and it doesn't have to be a, a partner that was sex, okay? So I feel that's what you want in a relationship and you shall get. Okay, so for our air signs, what's going on? Moving into the will of fortune though you may could be coming out of some codependencies okay or you may lack some confidence right now so the nine of pentacles in reverse i don't like that but it is what it is we grow we learn we all go through them in times okay you may lack courage in something but i saw courage upright so it wasn't that you may lack the confidence of a relationship or person situation or thing, okay? Why does he gotta be going off right now? Ooh, I'm the king of wands. You have somebody that's uh, very passionate about you and wants something very beautiful and new with you. That's awesome. told me that was the last out. All right. Let's go for Libras, Geminis, and Aquarius. What is going on with my air signs here? What is their energy? What is the energy of them within them? Oh. Oh. You. You got somebody that's. Wow. I could see where you would fit, want to feel your love protected if there was some toxicity that happened before because it 
has you up thinking. I mean, it just puts you in a mental imprisonment. Oh no, wait, sorry. Shoot, air signs, my bad. There was some heavy betrayal with some very toxic shit. That is ugly. Okay. But what I love is that you learned to believe and move on, but now I see why. Somebody betrayed you, and you need to know that you, you're not going to be betrayed in that relationship again, and another relationship again. I don't feel you're with this person, but we'll see. I mean, it could be a situation, it could be a work thing. I don't know, guys. And then here she comes out in reverse. Was it you codependent and insecure or was it the other person? Bad behavior, my God, got air signs. What is happening? Fighting and drama and I thought somebody was insecure but somebody led this person to feel insecure they betrayed them and it causes them a lot of strife and conflict they definitely don't want to go work with that either or on that Ooh, five of wands of drama some manipulation. Ooh. Sneakiness. My God. So something's not working right now anymore. And somebody's coming. Yeah, going to come right out. I was about to say somebody's coming out of some toxic stuff. Where they felt insecure, it's caused them strife. They're not wanting to work on this anymore because they want to come, you want to come out of your five of cups, regrets, let that spill, melt, go. Good, air signs. I'm liking it. I am liking it. Coming out of the three of swords. Look at this three of swords. You see that guy crying? But you're coming out of that. Awesome. Out of five, five cups in reverse, three of cups in reverse. I like the direction we're going, guys. You know that that foundation is not workable anymore once this person betrayed you with some very toxic behaviors, leaving you insecure. Okay? But you're coming out of all that. I feel you fought your way back out of it, too. Y'all <laughs> Ah! As Queen of the Swords show up, I'm sure you slice right through that betrayal and that bullshit as an air sign. That's what air signs do. We slice through that. And I say air sign. I'm Virgo by birth, rising moon and um, sun. I mean, Venus is all Libra. So, you know, you'll, you'll slice right through it. It's just, it's just that's just how air signs are. They ain't going to really... We do tend to think things over a lot, though. But then when we're done thinking, that's when the swords come out. Yes. Queen, queen. I don't do genders, but... <laughs> so you slice through with a lot of love. I'm going to put a lot of love into this. Done. Yeah, they'll betray me. I'm done feeling insecure. And I'm going to go love myself unconditionally and put my unconditional love somewhere else, too. I like it, guys. Go ahead, air signs. And it's not like you're regretting anything because you're five of cups and your three of swords is in reverse. And then here comes the queen's. Yeah, you're not going to sit here and, you know, 
be all defensive and up in your head about things. Like, no, you're going to just walk on. You don't. And you don't need to be. You don't want to fight for that anymore. You want to fight for something that is more like, you know, that is more doable. Somebody that's not going to be putting you up. Gosh, guys, their side looks ugly. I'm just saying. Lately, when the heat's been going, all my internet's been going in and out, in and out, in and out. What is this six of cups here for? You guys may be reuniting with somebody. I don't feel it's the same person, though. It may be somebody else before this. That's what I'm feeling, the one before this. Or somebody you have memories with. I don't feel that there's your reconciliation with this person. But I feel that you're thinking a lot and looking at maybe pictures and things of somebody that you have a lot of fond memories with. So this tells me you know this person. And you already got a lot of unconditional love for this person. Now, reconciliation, yes, usually that is, but I'm not feeling it from all the rest of everything I've seen. This person brings, gives you hope, happiness. This is a different person because trust me, what I've seen underneath, they give you, you know, they're gonna come in passionately. Justice is on your side. There may be a little drama to work around. Always is in the beginning. Lovers, there you are, Geminis, showing up. You have hope for this. You want this. It's a divinely guided thing, too. I love this star. It's divinely guided. It's fate. But this person, you don't like the betrayal. And they made you, you know, at one point feel insecure. That, and, you know, you said, no, uh -uh, I'm not going to be queen of uh, nine of coins in reverse. No, hell no. I'm going to put my three of swords in reverse. I'm going to let go of the regrets by doing so. And I'm going to get my sword out. And I'm going to say, Psh. and then I'm going to turn around. And hopefully you did your healing and your work. And I'm going to go find, I'm going to hang out with somebody that, you know, I have a lot of fond memories with, that I have a lot of hope with, that I don't have to be defensive and guarded, and put my life towards them. I love it. And what did I say you get out of it? Happiness, too. Like, oh my God. okay, hold on. You want to court somebody, and they want to court you. Mm. Now, air signs, the other person may be back around, whomever it is to you. And if it's a friend or a job, whatever, you place it how you need to. But you are, no, you're looking forward to the new beginning, the new person. You don't want to work on that. You want to work on a new beginning. You've gone within. You've done the healing. Yes, and there's your aces. They, I was told to go to that part of the deck. Aces of uh, cups. You got a brand new start with somebody after a huge tower moment, okay? Why is this reversed? Oh, the fool. Okay. Tower with the fool, you went off on a new direction. And that tower hit from whatever this was. And guys, I don't stay here and joke and this, that, as if I don't feel things for you guys. But, like, intuitively, if I had to feel everything, that I mean, I've been on here and I've gotten off and cried because I felt somebody's energy. Or I'm just trying to bring light to it. And, you know, it's not like peace by, but I've been through so much in my life that maybe I should be more, like, um, explain why I'm like that. I don't know why I'm explaining you guys anything. I am as a reader who I am, but also, um, 
I don't know if people find me insensitive when I say, because it's not that easy, but you got to start somewhere, right? And you're starting with the star, the sun. You're not feeling abandoned. Okay, this is for, who are we going for? Gemini, Gemini, what is going on for Gemini? What's in Gemini's energies? What is in Gemini's energies? Let's go, led by God, guided by you. What is in Gemini's energies? Some stubbornness, maybe not letting out everything they need to. Well, they're not returning to the old. <laughs> Let's go for the Geminis of the world today. Guys, if these don't fit, they don't fit. I do want to go over my TikTok, though, because I'm going to start daily reads over there. I'm going to do uh, go live and do questions for you. Um, it's powered by the moon only. I did not get the seven on there. I have, uh, that's where I'm going. I got new directions I'm taking with this. Um, I'm giving myself a year to be out of the restaurants and fully just into my tarot. So I've hired a marketing um Team, I don't know if it's a team. I only really deal with one guy, but they have built other tarot readers, uh, social media and YouTubes. And, you know, I've already got a lot of clientele due to them, so I'm cool with it. Okay. There's some uh, drama surrounding uh, you Geminis right now. But you're not waiting anymore for a love, so that's good to know. Let's go. What is this five of wands and Gemini's energy? Why? Why are we opening up with this? Might be some people interfering and all involved. What's in Gemini's energy? Gemini, you may need to get a new perspective on something within your life. Or you have. You've been enlightened by something that was, you know, drama. Maybe too many people involved, like I said. There's a situation you, you're being enlightened to. Manifesting, coming out of confusion. Okay. So maybe the Five of Wands is an internal drama. Because since then, all I'm seeing is that you've been enlightening, you're manifesting, coming out of confusion with somebody willing to invest. Um, coming out of confusion of a lack of passion or lack thereof. You already... This person and you are really ready to make this decision, uh, nurture this, whether it be a job, whatever it is, it is. You got the information you need. I see a lot of kids though around here. So it's, it's something new. You're coming out of the nine of wands. That's beautiful. You're going to your happiness. This isn't new, new, but it's new. You're coming out of your eight of swords. Okay. Oh no, that was dumb. Out of the nine of wands and the happiness. You're looking at that one cup. Do I take it? Do I take it? Do I take it? Okay. I'm just laughing. This, you're coming out of feeling like a victim and this being happy and feel, and because you, you felt abandoned at one point and you've had patience up until now. At least you were spiritually guided to have patience in this situation. What is this that Gemini's been patient about? What is Gemini been patient about? Heartbreak. What's 
burdensome. What the hell's going on? Heck's going on here? Waiting. <laughs> You've been waiting for a situation. You're coming out of the confusion. That's awesome. It's going to make you happy. You felt a little abandoned and, but while waiting. You've had a lot of patience, but it has laid a lot of burden. But guess what? You're, you're waited for what? Ten of Cups. There you go. Somebody's come rushing in for you. Uh, they're coming out of hermit mode. Um, being within and to themselves. Just They're coming out of a mental prison too. So Where they thought there was no hope. They're finding now. That's awesome, Gemini. One more out. Oh, the moon. Don't be illusioned though. Don't fall under any misillusions about things though, okay? It's kind of like, just, whose read was it? Was it just now? Okay. You need to come out of the illusions that this won't be something good for you, okay? Because this is in reverse. You're under the illusion that this is not going to go well. Or that this is not going to happen. But I can see where you thought that in the back. Back here. I can see that. <laughs> it caused a lot of uh, inner um, anxieties. Battles. Drama. With inside yourself. But if I got, oh my gosh. For, who are we going with now? Who are we going with here? Uh... Aquarius, what is going on for Aquarians? How are you Aquarians doing? Aquarius, let's go for Aquarius. What's in their energy? What's going on for Aquarius? For Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius. Nurturing something, babe. Maybe you're pregnant. Maybe you're going to have a baby. Somebody here that's watching. Let me know if you are. And if you are, is it a boy or a girl? I like to know these things. I feel frisky today. <laughs> Somebody has a lot of hope. I keep seeing that star. A lot of hope and victory. V being victorious, okay? You're scared though, you're nervous. You're nervous that it won't be. And I don't know why. You should stop. Because that's where you you have your uh, inner conflictions, okay? Okay, Aquarius, you're coming out with five of swords. What are you conflicted about? What is the confliction? Five of swords is conf uh, strife or bad behavior. What is this five of swords? What is this five of swords? Strife. No, sorry. My bad. Bad behavior. Seven of swords. Five of cups. There to the side, but I was guided to put them up right. Yeah, somebody's five, five might be important. Five's not good, but it does bring a lot of change. So guys, the swords, the swords, Aquarius, what's going on? Somebody's been very sneaky, sneaky and deceptive. If it's not you, somebody sure the hell has with the five of swords next to the seven of swords sitting there. You feel regretful if it was you. Or you're having regrets around it. This is you. I'm not reading Cross Watcher. <laughs> Lack of communication. You waited on something that was burdensome though. Something you don't have control over. Mm. You might have been playing the field Aquarius in and out. Bringing passion here, bringing passion there. Or somebody has to you. You might have been hurt in your past, so um, you may be taking that out on your new relationship. I never heard my cards really do that. Okay. 
of his art. Oh yeah, oh hell yeah. Because something stopped working, you're moving on, being the queen of wands yourself. Going into more confidence, more um, creative ways about your ways, uh, being very um, likable, being the all eyes in the, in the room, turn around. Okay, so I feel you were burned in the past. So you took time out from relationships. But you're now, and you know, I wouldn't say your behavior was the best. You might have been a little sneaky here and there. You may not have been telling everybody that you're dating other people. But you're moving on because you don't want to work on that. You don't want to do that anymore. It was too much work. It's too much. Aquarius says, no, I'm done. I got it. I got it. I know my truth. I know my nine of cups. I know what I want. I want a fresh, passionate, brand new beginning with someone. A lot of aces down here, guys. I want to give more to myself and more to others. You might run into somebody that I would not uh, jump into something right away with, okay? I just saw the King and Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the tower. So I think something new or somebody over here, one of the, you know, I think that you were disdaining. I don't know if that's what I'm feeling, Cancer. And you showed up, by the way. Yeah, all your cards are moving forward. You're moving forward. What are they moving forward? Are they going to... Nine of Swords in reverse, I love that. Okay, so it's either you that was sneaky and it left you a lot of regrets or someone else was sneaky, playing games with you. Um, left you feeling their sorrowful, spilling over crack, uh, spilt milk. Maybe wasn't always honest with what they're doing. Um, You've manifest. I'm trying to get the both stories because there is two here. I think it's cancer that you did. Or, no. Yeah, it's cancer that you did. There's this two. But you're moving forward on the, out of everything, out of the anxiety, out of the bad behaviors, whether that you or them, out of being a player. You want to come in. You want to be passionate. You don't. You want to move forward. Move forward, move forward. That's all it is. Chariot sixes, six of one, manifesting. Everything's forward, forward, not going back at all. And I like that, okay? You are waiting for one true love that will come. Just beware that there's somebody maybe coming that is not for your best interest, okay? All right, Aquarius. So now let's move on to Libras. Libras, what is going on, my fellow Librans? Let's go, live by God, guided by you. For Libra, what's going on? Guys, go over to my TikTok. I'll answer your questions one by one over there if I'm not live and you catch me. And so Libra has got the opposite of what Aquarius got. So Libra is coming out of feeling like a victim, like they don't have the fight in them. They're coming out of that. And they're moving passionately towards another or just in life in general. <laughs> I love it. What they're moving passionately towards after they coming out of, you know, something that, what, that left them feeling some wounds is their wish fulfillment, their happiness. They have to move on at some point. You have to. You can't just sit there sat. Crying over spilled milk. I saw so many five of cups today. Cherry. Yeah, they're moving forward. Libra, you go ahead. There is, yeah, you're not at a crossroads anymore. Two swords in reverse. I love it. You don't feel confused.
there may have been a time you just felt there was no hope for this. And I believe that's when you were in your nine of wands over there. Yeah, you've made this decision to complete out one cycle and start anew. Let's go. With somebody very stable, guys. This can bring you a lot of stability. Security. Trust. Ace of Wands, yes, this is new, guys. This They're going to bring you a passionate new beginning with a lot of trust, stability, and safety, security. Here you come, Libra, with your Queen of Swords. You may feel a bit detached. You may feel a little because of, you know, you're still coming out of it. You're realizing, you know, this is where the direction you need to go. So you're not fully, like, going to go express yourselves. I don't think this Queen of Swords, because you see, she has very small swords, not like my slicer and dicers. She's just maybe a little protective over her. So watch out. Because if she, she might lash out on somebody and put that sword down. But she don't feel that. There goes the world again. You're completing that one cycle, going into another one. I love it, Libras. Yeah, you're coming out of the Eight of Swords. This flipped over, so I'm going to read it. And you are no longer stuck in hangman mode. I love it for the air sign, for the Libras today. Hang on, let me see real quick though, because at the end of all these, it's getting a little weird. This is a two of cups, soul tie connection. I think this might be coming out of, um, this Libra is coming out of uh, someone that may have the, you know, in a third party or, you know, to stop working on, they stopped working on this with this other person that wounded them. They stopped giving it the energy and the time because they're going after their happiness. There's a lot of happiness here for Libra, the Nine of Cups, uh, Sun. But this Libra, I'm telling you, they're seeing it all, they're accepting it all, they're ready for it, they want to move forward. Knight, Knight of um, Swords over there. This is stable, very much so a new start. But you get down here and you see where the Libra is like, this brings me a lot of happiness, but how much? And what's going to go on? And how? Don't do it to yourself, Libra. Make the decision and... Jump into the unknown. You're not going to know until you jump anyways. Small new start. We do have the king of swords here. Somebody's going to be very assertive too. With this. Four cups in reverse. I love that. Four of wands upright. Ten of pentacles. This is abundant for you after coming out of an abandonment time. From a cracked foundation. You've manifested this so gone. Now Libras. Have the strength and the courage to move forward. All right, guys. I hope any of this help. Uh, I will be getting cross watcher heavens up. Join my TikTok, Powered by the Moon only. Um, I will be doing uh, pop-up reads there, and I'm very excited to start doing so. Um, this will start growing. Um, yeah, we're going to get into this. Guys, if you want to read, please go to poweredbythemoon 7 gmailcom Send me out an email. I'd love to give you my discounted rate for uh, first time. Uh, first time, it's a family friend rate of uh, forty five instead of sixty. And then also, like I said, go on over to my Instagram, get my weekend feels, Monday mornings, check my morning, my, uh, Monday morning weekly feels here. Cross watch your heaven, go see what your uh, your other person's up to. Okay, but until then, you be blessed, you be well, and bye for now.